Well, what a disaster. We've got nowhere to go. We're gonna have to leave Sereda here in the Canary Islands again and we're going to have to fly home. We're absolutely devastated that we're gonna to have to go home, oh, but we don't have a choice, we've gotta leave. The current plan is So it's a bit windy today. We're kind of scarily close. Hope you can hear me in the wind. To the rocks. But we're not dragging we're fine um, and we're not, not as close as we look I think also it's low tide so we look closer than yeah that doesn't really make sense oh my friends Sebastian uh, he's on that red boat over there they were just they were anchored like over there and then we looked out and they were between those two boats. So I don't know if they've dragged and they're now motoring over there. So I guess maybe they did drag, but they sort themselves out. That boat's moved as well. They weren't there. They were the other side of us last night. So I don't know if they've dragged and re-anchored as well. My flag, look, it's ripping. I'll have to take it down and re-sew it and then when we get back to the UK or somewhere I'm going to have to buy a new one. It's not going to last too long. But yeah, look at the beach, it's empty. <laughs> I've never seen the beach this empty. It is not a nice day. We are not going to be leaving the boat today. I'm gonna see what ingredients I have on board, maybe bake something. It's a drink hot chocolate and eat baked goods kind of day today, I'm thinking. I think both Liam and I got up in the night when we were up with the Vanjin anyway and came and checked the chart plotter. But as you can see, we've not really moved. The anchor alarm did go off in the night, but it's only because we'd swung all the way around. We weren't dragging, we were fine. What a day it has been today. I'm still in my pajamas. That's the kind of day that it's been today. I'm not even gonna turn the camera around on myself because I just look horrendous. As the day has gone on, the swell has picked up. It's got really quite bad. The worst we've had since we've been here. Here it goes. We've just had things flying around everywhere. I mean, you don't realize that your boat is kind of messy and things aren't in their place until the swell comes in like this and then everything's just everywhere. <laughs> Evangeline's not had a good day today. She's having a bit of teething pain and then I think she's been feeling seasick with this swell because she threw up and it started coming out of her nose. It was awful. She just had a sleep though and now she feels a lot better. She's, she's smiling and happy again, but. But yeah, it's been a very unproductive day. We've done basically nothing. And uh, yeah, we're really, really hoping that the, the wind's died down a lot now. It's only about, I don't know, 11, 12 knots now. So we're hoping that as it dies down more, this swell is gonna die down too. And then hopefully we'll actually get a decent night's sleep and we'll have a better day tomorrow. What a glorious day it is today compared to the windy, rolly couple of days we've just had. It's beautiful again. You can see the fish. 
Come here. Look at the fishies. There's not many of us here though. A few boats left when it was rolly and I think also just the time of year. Everybody else has already crossed the Atlantic, really. <coughs> Liam's in his favourite hall again. That, uh, the stuffing box is still dripping. Putting a bit of grease in was only a short term fix. It hasn't lasted and it's filling the bilge again. Excuse the state of the boat. It's all right, sweetheart. It's been horrendously rolly. Things have just gone everywhere. Yeah, there's dirty nappies, there's rubbish, there's... Yeah, who even knows what? And there's a Liam getting frustrated because he can't fix it. And here's an Evangeline. And it's nap time. And she's not napping. What are you up to, sweetheart? Yeah, big yawn. Because it's supposed to be nap time, but every time mommy tries to get you to sleep, you won't sleep. You just want to play with the lion, don't you? Uh. Hello. Oh, I can't do it. So that was our last night at anchor for the next three months. Which is really sad but it was a really nice night didn't mind filming this while the kettle was boiling oh well so look through our dirty windows it was a lovely calm night but we're sad we don't want to go to the marina today and then fly home tomorrow we had some drinks on the beach last night with the friends that we've made here Oh, you were in such a good mood last night. You were. You were laughing and smiling at everybody. And it was sad to say goodbye. It's harder to leave a place, I think, when you've made friends. But we're hopefully going to see them again when we come back out, which would be awesome. Now, what's Mummy doing? What's mummy doing? <laughs> yeah, she's trying to fix it. She is. So my flag did not survive the strong winds of the other night. It wasn't my sewing. My sewing's still intact. It was the actual fabric has ripped again. So yeah, all that hard work. And the strong winds ripped it. Well, what a disaster. Our packages are still not here and we're about to get to the end of our Schengen visa. So we've got to leave Europe. The choices are across the Atlantic, just the two of us and Evangeline without our packages, which we don't really want to do. We don't want to leave our packages behind and it's not Although we would love to go to the Caribbean, it's probably not the best idea to do it without crew. We could go down to Cape Verde, but then we couldn't really get back up. We'd just be stuck in Cape Verde. Um, ideally, we'd go to Morocco, but Morocco's closed. So we've got nowhere to go. We're going to have to leave Sereda here in the Canary Islands again, and we're going to have to fly home. Wait till our 90 days before we're allowed back in to the Schengen zone. And then the current plan is that we'll sail up to Madeira, then probably to Portugal, and then back up to the UK. Uh, because it will be May when we're allowed back in. And that's the best time of year to be sailing north up to the UK. So that's the kind of general plan. We're absolutely devastated that we're going to have to go home to the UK in winter. Wouldn't be too bad if it was summer, but it's going to be winter. It's going to be horrendous. Oh, but we don't have a choice, we've got to leave. 
So we're just spending one last family sunset. Angelina's eating a peg. She does have toys, I promise, but she just prefers anything other than her toys. It's a nice sunset. A little bit of rolling us in the anchorage, but nothing major. In the morning, we're going to be up at the crack of dawn, going to a marina just up the coast, all we spent Christmas in. And then we're flying back to the UK tomorrow afternoon. We're about, I think about six weeks behind with the videos. Um, so I should have three more videos to put out, like three more videos worth of footage. I don't really know though. So there'll be a few more videos to come. Um, and then, yeah, you'll have to wait until we're back in May and we've done a bit of sailing for some more videos. Hopefully it should be some awesome videos of us sailing back to the UK. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss them. Yes. Like, subscribe, comment, ask us questions. Thanks, guys. It is quarter past six in the morning. It's the day that we're going back to England. We've got to be up really early because the marina couldn't fit us in yesterday. The internet is banging outside. Oh, you probably saw it in the holidays out. They're probably wrapped around the steps of the mast. Yeah, the marina couldn't fit us in yesterday, but we're flying today. And we're flying at one o'clock, so we've got to be at the airport at like 11 o'clock. And then we need to sail to the marina, maybe motor get tied up, get everything ready, get the bus to the airport before 11 o'clock. So yeah, it's quarter past six and we're getting ready to leave. We're about to pull the anchor out. Well, we're on our way now. We're motor sailing because there's only three knots of wind. We're hoping that the wind will pick up and when it gets light, we can get the head sail out. We've got the main up now for the extra speed and stability. We're hoping we can do an actual bit of sailing on our last sail. We'll see. At least we're on our way to the marina. I'm nervous. I'm always nervous when we fly. I don't know why. I just always get nervous until I'm actually sat on the plane and we're, we're about to leave. I'm always nervous, which is silly. Beanie in the Canary Islands. What is this? Um, but as far as I said, we're heading back to the UK today, unfortunately. Um, we're motor sailing at the moment, the, head, the wind's uh, right on our nose, uh, we're on a time limit. Usually, because we've got there's 10 knots of wind, so we could sail in this if we wanted to tack and tack and tack and tack, which, yeah, if we weren't going home, we would happily sail that. Quite enjoy the tacking and actually sailing the boats because it's fun, that's why we do it. But alas, no. Just preparing myself for going back to the UK by wearing a beanie when it should be about 20 degrees. But the sun's just coming up. I don't know if that's a focus camera. Yeah. 
sad times. Oh, this camera does not like this light. There we go. So yeah. That's that. Still can't believe I'm wearing a beanie in the Canary Islands. We're just approaching Marina San Miguel. Actually, it's called Marina Amarillo, but it's at San Miguel. We call it Marina San Miguel. It's 8.30 in the morning. We've made good time. We just motored the whole time. The wind was dead on our nose. So we should have plenty of time to get ready. <laughs> Bless you. And get to the airport. Well, we've just tied up. We're a bit later than we wanted to be. It's quarter past ten. We were planning to get the 10.25 bus to the airport, so that's definitely not gonna happen. But the marine office didn't open till 10. They told us they opened at 9. They didn't. So we've only just been able to check in and pay and everything, so quick, quick, quick now, let's see what the next bus we can get.